God of Destruction beers, freezer reincarnation. Okay, wait, how far does this go? It, 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 it will not, it will not let me proceed further. Very well, we press on with You're the story. Gone. More reading. Through his fight with Manjibu, Goku was revived. He now spends his days training so he can get even stronger. Here we are soon to encounter a new and even more powerful enemy. Oh, Goku is training. The God of Destruction, Lord Beerus, shows up to the Bulma's birthday party, apparently in search of a Super Saiyan God. No one stands a chance against Beerus, who has the power to destroy everything. There's a stance. With the help of his family and friends, Goku awakens as a Super Saiyan God and takes Earth's fate in his hands as he steps up to the plate against Beerus. Let's go, Lord Beerus, you and me! But if I win, you have to leave this planet untouched. Deal? The show must go. <laughs> the show Very must go well, on. I accept your terms, but know this: none in this universe can hope to match the power of Beerus the Destroyer. Is there no battle? Is just gonna watch Goku just not not do anything? I'm not done yet. No. <gasps> Goku has been beaten down, but he's not out yet. Holding on to, hold on tight to his will to fight, he rises to face Beerus once more. Huh? Did the Super Saiyan God thing work? I don't know. It sure seemed like it did. But I can't sense my dad's energy at all. Believe it or not, that's good news. The energy that radiates from a god cannot be detected by mere mortals. And even stronger! And he 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 whips it to the side. And he just slapped me! He just I don't think I talk about this. He just slapped my ass. <laughs> It didn't work this time. Why? Weird. Oh, you want to spam now, huh? Hit me. There's gonna be a lot of tech in this game when it comes to PvP. Good lord. Couldn't dodge that. You know, I got a lot of ground to cover. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> what do you say we continue this fight on equal footing? God to God. Sounds good to me. I'm only scratching the surface of this new power. Quit slapping me. Up we go. Up here. Oh, shit. It's, it's not letting not me die. Get any stronger unless you face me with everything you've got. I should have died there. Are you always this talkative? You just don't get it. Can I win that? What? 
I, I lost that, but okay, well, I guess I won. <laughs> Ugh. Although Goku did not come out on top, his impressive attempt left an impression. Beerus and his companion leave without destroying the earth. A short while later, Vegeta and Goku train with Whis, Beerus' attendant, who is also a teacher. Both awaken their Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan forms, and its, and it's incredible power. Now we're back on Earth. Frieza has been resurrected by the Dragon Balls and brings an army to Earth to take revenge on Goku. Gohan tries to stop Frieza, but he is no match for Frieza's new and improved strength. By the time Bulma's SOS reaches Goku and Vegeta, Piccolo is already dead, and things aren't looking much better for Gohan. However, Earth is far too distant from the planet where his father is for Gohan to sense any key, meaning he cannot travel via instant, <laughs> instant transmission. But, but just as all seems lost, Gohan summons the last of his strength to enhance his key, and Goku is finally able to sense him. Using instant transmission, he goes to face Frieza once again. Technically, we stuck to them there, but okay. Hey, Vegeta. Sorry, but I've got to run. What? Ugh, fine. Do whatever you want, as usual. It occurs to me. I suppose I should thank you. Thank me? What in the world for? For years, my every step, my every breath has been motivated by a single desire. Revenge. My new power, strength enough to hold the universe by its throat. It was you who gave it to me. Losing to you, to a pathetic Saiyan. It consumed me. The humiliation was too much to bear. Enough! Get to the point! Ha! Ah, impatient as ever. Very well. As a token of my gratitude, I will destroy you first. <laughs> I knew it! You've been holding something back, haven't you? That's well deduced for a simpleton. I've held back just like you. Then let's both go all in. No tricks, no reserves. <laughs> All right, now it's your turn. Let's see this new power of yours. Care to cut to the chase, do we? Very well, then I won't hold anything back either. Now brace yourself. Behold my newfound evolution. I know gold's a bit ghost, but I wanted to ensure you grasp my new position atop the pecking order. And for the sake of your feeble mind, let's keep the name simple as well. We'll call this Golden Frieza. Golden Frieza? Farewell, Goku. I can't say it's been a pleasure. No hard feelings! You're right up in though. I'm not normally one for preemptive goodbyes, but there is a very real possibility that I kill you instantly. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. You've always been smug, Frieza. But I guess you've earned it this time. <laughs> it got even faster! Man just dodged it like it was nothing. You, you fools! Indeed, he did do me like like Bulma. I just saw that. <laughs> More reading? More reading? Of course you're not gonna narrate it, you're gonna make me do it? Yep. Goku and Freeza are locked in another mortal battle to settle everything once and for all, and when will the reading end? I don't know. Oh, right now. 
to. You fool! It's over, Frieza. Once and for all. I couldn't have put it better myself. Spotting an opening, Frieza seizes his chance to destroy Earth. Man, this is not how Super went, but whatever. But before he can, Goku realizes what he's doing and fires a Kamehameha at him. Is there a story story mode? Now we're into things I'm not too sure of. After Frieza defeated Beerus, his twin brother, Chappa, appears, and Goku and his friends get caught up in an argument between the two brothers. They then learn that there are a total of 12 universes, which are called Universe 7. Moreover, there are also apparently exist Super Dragon Balls in Universe 6, Chappa's home, as well as Universe 7. These Super Dragon Balls can be used to summon Super Shenron, who possesses the ability to grant any wish, completely free of all restrictions. It is these Dragon Balls that are put up as a prize for a new tournament that will be held, the Tournament of Destroyers, at the end of many ferociously fought matches, Goku and the others emerge victorious. After being noticed by a powerful being, it is decided that Goku and his friends shall meet with the ruler of all the universes, Z Z Zeno. And it is this meeting which changes everything. Shortly after this, Trunks arrives in a time machine from the future, asking Goku and the others for their help. Sorry, I swung at you without any warning, Goku. For a second there, I thought you were someone else. Nah, you were just rattled. Don't worry about it. So tell us, who is this guy? Would you believe me if I said he called himself Goku? What? Me? He wears dark clothes instead of your orange ones, so he started calling him Goku Black. I'll never forget the day he showed up. He said he was going to exterminate the human race. He said he was doing it in the name of justice. I struggled against him for a year after that, but by that point there were hardly any survivors left on Earth. Then, he tracked down Mom just before I came here. Wait a sec. My future self also wrote a message specifically for me. She wanted us to fix the machine and return with you. That means she wants me to go there and beat Kakarot myself! Come on, Vegeta, it's not me! It must be someone who just looks like me! Hey, Trunks, help me gauge how strong this guy is. Fight me for a while so you can compare my strength to his. Sure. In order to understand the strength of this doppelganger imposter, Goku fights with Trunks to see how powerful he really is. The two of them go elsewhere to begin their sparring, however, an unexpected visitor soon joins them. <laughs> Jumping to Super Saiyan 2 right off the bat, huh? Sounds good to me! I figured this out after you left. I call it Super Saiyan 3. That's incredible. I wouldn't expect anything less from you. In that case, I'll show you my strongest move. All right, attack me with everything you've got. <gasps> Goku Black! What? Oh, now I see. No wonder I couldn't find you. This isn't how it went, is it? Destroyer Beerus. Wow, you really do look alike, huh? How are you, Goku? You're looking quite well. So, we're about to watch Goku versus Goku. <laughs> it's shaping up to be a fascinating day. I see, you must enter the time machine. Down on the ground with you. Foolish. Not bad. 
But you're a whole lot stronger than that, right? <laughs> I'm flattered you rate me so highly. But I'm getting too much out of this to rush. <laughs> I do love the combat. It's really good. I'll hit you with this. Pretty creepy thing to say. Have some of this! <laughs> Didn't know it was a dash move. Space-time must be dissipating. It's going back to normal. Did this happen in Super? I'm not too fond on the details. I remember him, but not in this way. The distortion in space-time from which Goku Black emerged swallows him up and returns to the world of the future. Whis, Beerus' attendant, notices that Goku Black was wearing the Supreme Kai's time ring. Oh, yes, okay. He also informs Goku that there exists an individual in Universe 10 with the same key as Black. They travel together to find that individual. Upon arriving, they find a, com a combat servant named Zamasu, who is slated to become a Supreme Kai. He does indeed have the same key as Goku Black. However, it is Zamasu's first time meeting Goku, and he's completely unaware of the time rings that can sur surpass the limit limitations of time and space. Uh, it would be your utmost pleasure to please engage in fisticuffs with me, your kindness, sir! Do what? <laughs> That's his true power. Hmm. Fisticuffs. All right, let's give it a go! You know, I haven't fought a god since Lord Beerus. You fought the Destroyer? He blew her up, I got me. This music. Right down the middle. Indeed. Wait, was that last energy? But it was awfully close. Be 
planted suspicion. You know, for just a plain old Kai, you're pretty strong. Proficiency. Between the antisocial psyche that's clearly lurking within him and the energy that he's projected outward, I'd say our suspicions that Zamasu is black have been circumstantially corroborated. Then maybe I should just dispense with him now while I can. Hmm? You guys sure about this? You know, he really didn't seem like such a bad guy to me. That's because you're too trusting of people. The energy I felt was similar, but it wasn't exactly the same as Black's. It seems there are more mysteries to solve. Algo Gubiris and Whis did meet Zamasu and confirm he indeed has a key similar to Black, so they left unable to prove that Zamasu is definitely Black. I cannot, Boma and the others are hard at work for repairing the time machine when, when a message arrives from the fearsome Zeno, requesting they visit him. Zeno! Who is accompanied by the Supreme Kai and the others, however... If you do anything that Grand Zeno finds insulting, he could easily erase you, me, this entire reality from existence. Don't forget that. One more thing, Whis. If Grand Zeno does lash out, make sure it's not its Supreme Kai. I need him protected at all costs. I would be surprised to hear the concern of Beerus' voice, but N Ellis joins together with Whis, Beerus, and the Supreme Kai. For context, if Supreme Kai dies, Beerus dies. Whis soon divulges to Goku that if a Supreme Kai dies, the destroyer of that universe, Beerus, would die too. There you go. Beerus is clearly flustered by Whis' words. But there's no time to confront him. Confront him. Goku and Whis use the Supreme Kai's ability to set off for the, for the palace. They are greeted by the Grand Minister, who takes them to Zeno. As they walk, Whis mentions that even he would not hold a candle to the, gr the Grand Minister. What's up? I mean, good day and greeting. So, what's going on with you? What do you want? Oh my God. Really, Goku? I'm not asking much. I just want a friend. You see. You're not like most people. You're fun. I want you to be my friend, Ogie Dogi. We can do that, I guess. But is that the only reason you called? Is that a problem? Of course not, Grand Zeno. Goku would feel privileged to be your friend and provide you unsurpassed joy. You be quiet. I'm sorry, Zeno, but actually now's a bad time. There's something I've got to take care of, but when it's done, we can play, I swear! So once you're done with your busy thing, you'll play with me? Sure! And if you want, I can bring somebody else who'd be even more fun to play with, too. So the next time, you won't have to wait on me. Really? Okay, it's a date! More reading? More reading? I think it's more reading. Yay, no reading! Damn it! As proof of Goku and, and, and Zeno's blossoming friendship, Zeno gives Goku a button that can summon him simply by pressing it. The three visitors then board the time machine and he head for the world of the future. Go on, Goku! Rejoice! Only through me will you finally reach the pinnacle of beauty you have sought for so very long. You know, I don't know what you're rambling on about. Influenced by Goku, Goku Black evolves into a Super Saiyan Ro Rose and stands in their way. Father! Despite Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta wielding God Key, he still falls at Super Saiyan Rose Black's hand. I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready! Your mind is too small. Your mind is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my cause. It's that like was a thing. Into the sun. You cannot see. The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you. For I am a breed apart and divine. 
Would you quit getting your ass beat? Ah, I'm going for the kill here. Here it goes. It was like this. Right. I can keep this one a secret. Now this is a fight. Still moving. That's enough. There's more. There's more. I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black. Scheming, such a negative word. We are more like calm on a righteous crusade. <laughs> Now it's really a fight. Oh shit. I have no health. Going over. Here we go. I won't lose. My weight is almost over. Soon the world I've been dreaming of. So long will be made manifest. A truly just and perfect Me and utopian you. existence. Let's go! Mortals are unnecessary. And more than that, unwelcome in my paradise. Hate to burst your bubble, but there's no way I'm letting you two get what you want. You will fall. Well, unfortunately, I just lost. Shall no longer exist. Goku, this time I'll fight. Oh, I haven't lost. Goku, this is a fight. What? Uh, what happened? Huh? Confused? Was I one second away from not losing that? Oh my god. Your mind is too small. Your mind is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my cause. It's like staring into the sun. Cannot see. The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you. For I am a breed of art and divine. I'm not done yet. None for that. Feelings. 
This hard. On the attack. Foolish. What? That's enough. Samasu. I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black. Scheming? Such a negative word. We are more like comrades on a righteous crusade. Yeah. I'm not done yet. No hard feelings. Get away from me for a minute. For a pure and beautiful world. You will fall. That's not even his ultimate. Evil shall no longer Damn it. Exist. No. Ow. I will not lower the difficulty. I will just learn. Your mind is too small. Your kind is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my cause. It's like staring into the sun. You cannot see it. The vast beauty of Time my to learn being some overwhelms combat. you. For I am a breed apart and divine. Now your head. You fool. I'm not done yet. Dodge, Goku, damn it. Foolish. That's enough. Samasu! I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black! Scheming? Such a negative word. We are more like comrades on a righteous crusade. No hard feelings. I'm right in front of you. How about that? Right in front of you! I've been keeping this one a secret! For a pure and beautiful world! No hard feelings! Not this time! My wait is almost over. Soon the world I've been dreaming of for so long will be made manifest. A truly just and perfect utopian existence. Mortals are unnecessary. And more than that, unwelcome. Hate to burst your bubble, but there's no way I'm letting you two get what you want. Okay. This time I'll fight. 
How disappointing you ungrateful and barbaric creatures are. Whew. The gods gave you minds capable of true wisdom, yet you wasted on self-interest and war. Ah, screw you, you're dead. <laughs> How can you talk about the values of mortals after everything you've done to my world? Final Flash! You think you got him? No. What? What? It can't be! I've taken godhood to a new level. Divinity made perfect. With a body that befits a Kai. <laughs> One that is invincible. I can already tell I'm going to be sleeping soundly tonight. This is your end. A Saiyan? Who's there? Vegeta uses the last of his strength to rescue Goku and the others who are unable to return to their own world. Or are able to return to their world. The Supreme Guy comes to Goku and the others with the message that Zamasu is looking for Goku, as well as the Super Dragon Balls. Upon hearing that, we speculate that Zamasu of the future will create Goku Black with the Super Dragon Balls and make himself immortal. It'll be a year until the Super Dragon Balls can be used again. Could Zamasu use the Supreme Guy's time ring to solve such a problem? Zamasu is only an apprentice and does not possess a time ring. However, he may steal one from the Supreme Kai of Universe 10. If that is his plan, even the life of the Supreme Kai is at risk. Beerus and the others immediately head to Universe 10. When they arrive, they find Zamasu just as he is about to murder the Supreme Kai. Using his power of Hakai, Beerus wipes Zamasu from existence. It seems we've returned to a future where there is no black. Beerus informs them that a god killing another god will in inevitably result in a change in the space-time continuum. Trusting his words, they travel to the future to see what differences they have made. My world didn't change. I knew it. Beerus couldn't fix this. Not even the act of a god made a difference. And now they face almost and Goku Black once more. We know the truth! All the terrible things you've done! We know you use the Super Dragon Balls to get your power! You think I'm a copy? Oh, you're wrong. This is Goku's actual body, down to the last battle scar. The perfect war machine. I took the time ring and found the Super Dragon Balls. Then, with my first wish to the dragon, I switched bodies with you, Goku. Okay, so if you're telling us you're Zamasu, then who's this guy who actually looks like him? From your world's perspective, I'm the Zamasu from this world. And I work for justice with the Zamasu from the past. You haven't worked it out yet, Goku? I'm none other than the Kai once called Zamasu. The god defeated by a mere mortal. You. But... How can that be? I saw Beerus destroy you. He said you'd be gone. Old Beerus clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not even what a god did in the past can affect me. Thanks to the time ring, I could empower my new ally without waiting at all. We collected the Super Dragon Balls in the future and wished again. You are willing to kill your Supreme Kai just to get that ring? Yes. Then we had to make sure no one would undo our accomplishments later. So we found the Super Dragon Balls once more and shattered them. After that, we had to keep the other gods from interfering here. I used your strength to kill every other Kai in this multiverse. Damn. 
That means in this timeline, there are no more gods who can stop us. We have all the power. The two of us alone! This destruction was unfortunate, but necessary to achieve our virtuous goal. The Zero Mortal Plan. Mortals are a foolish and ugly mistake that stain the majesty of the cosmos. By eliminating all mortal creatures, we can reclaim this perfect creation. We've already cleansed a great number of planets of their repulsive mortal blight. Your filthy kind is worst of all. How many times have conflicts nearly destroyed this planet and threatened to spread across the universe? Because you are the ugliest, we are sentencing you to the heaviest punishment. A despair and terror that befits your wicked crimes. And none of you will escape it. This is it, Saiyans. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today. Here we go. Cannot keep up with me. What happened to me? To fight back. This should be planted sufficient. The bedding blocked it. For a pure and beautiful world. Break through. The limit! Ka me! Ka me! I thought for sure you would have asked by now, Goku. Aren't you concerned about your family? My family? Where does one begin such a gripping tale? After I collected the Super Dragon Balls and switched bodies with them, I went to Earth to check, to make sure we had really switched. And there I found it. You were shocked to find yourself in my body, and your family was terrified. This one's hard to dodge. He dodged it. What about Chi Chi? And Goten! Oh, surely you can guess that much, Goku. Are you okay? Monster! You pay for that! You took my body! You took my life! And then you even killed Chi Chi and Goten! You can regret telling me that, Zamasu! Now I'm mad! Now I'm really, really mad! And now it's time to pay! <laughs> Admit to fear. Thank you, Goku. Your anger feels simply incredible. You face my blade. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Here, I'm waiting for something to happen. I forgot I got I have to press A. Oh. I remember this. Billion others have been no match for Goku Black and Zamasu and are nursing serious injuries. Thanks to Trunks' help in buying them time, they're able to return in the time machine. Just how are these two to be defeated? Goku and his friends are backed into a corner, but Piccolo has the idea that Master Roshi may be able to help. Oh, that move? After learning the evil contamination wave, Goku receives a jar from Master Roshi and goes straight to where Trunks and the others are. 
Immediately he runs into Goku Black and Zamasu, who destroyed the time machine right before his very eyes. There will be no more retreating. Now you're trapped here. So this world will be the last you ever see. For a god, you're surprisingly confused. This isn't going to be our final resting place. It's going to be yours. We were even going to bring you a casket, but we couldn't find one small enough. Our master Goasu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. So, Kakarot, where are you keeping that jaw? Oh, crap! It was still in the time machine when they blew it up! How could you be that stupid? Fine. What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. You better keep your focus on me! Mortals do not tell gods what to do! I won't For a pure and beautiful world! Ow, 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 Get in my no face. Hard feelings. This was just the start. I channeled my divine rage into power. I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. This sound will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath! <laughs> Just as we foresaw, fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. That's the end of you. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. Hold it! <laughs> What's the matter, mortals? Relax. Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans loved fighting the strongest. Take this! Insufficient. Father! Goku! Trunks, you okay? He's weak. Trunks must have done something. <laughs> you just did up. That was your one mistake. Can you dodge backwards? He did. Disgrace yourself against those mortals. We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about mortals were badly mistaken. We are much more than just insignificant ones. If we're not careful, our dream of utopia... You pathetic, lowly mortals. Shall kneel before our radiant. Justice together! Thus begins a new world. Show your reverence. I don't want it. Bow down before our splendor. Worship. Give praise unto me. Me the being. The sublime. Me the invincible. The Almighty and Divine. All hail, Samus. Trumps, keep Bulma safe. Right. Not going all out. No, no. Pitiful. No, no. Face 
my divine wrath! I'm not sure. Now witness the wrath of the god! Break my divine wrath! Now witness I'm not done. Break through? The limit! Oh. Oh my health, shit. Going sun in the sky which illuminates this world. And all shall know that my brilliance is justice. You got too much health. I God. Summons, the universal wisdom, the universal law, and yes, the universal power. I've lost now, yes. Retry. Are you giving me a retry? Let's see what's going on. Was I supposed to lose? Oh, it's freaking great, man. For this world? And for all of us mortals, I'm putting all of our hope into this one blast! Gallic Gun! Come on, Trunks! Give it all you've got! Father, son, Gallic Gun! <laughs> right! I've had enough of you impudent mortals! Away with you! Samasu? Get ready, because I'm knocking your lights out for good! Shall smite the heart of the wicked! Face my divine wrath! Continue to defy a god! With Cat Gun and Goku's coming we have, Vegeta and the others think they have won. But then the fused Zamasu's body starts to change. Half of this combined Zamasu came from black. It seems the part of his body that's vulnerable to attacks is affecting the part that isn't. They even need an even greater power to destroy Zamasu now. Goku tells Vegeta his idea. Okay, Vegeta. It's time. We're gonna fuse. Just like them. Don't, you can't be serious, clown. There's no way I'm going to do that again. I don't like this any more than you do, Vegeta. But if we still need a major boost in power to break down his body, then this is the best chance we've got. Come on. You gotta admit I'm right about this. Good luck, you two. Thank you. It's now or never, Vegeta. There's something I've always wondered. When we fused last time, the Kai said it was permanent. But we split apart anyway. Do you know why? The truth is, it's only permanent if a Supreme Kai is involved. Otherwise, it only lasts an hour. So just a one-hour battle, then we're back to ourselves. Cut it out. If you say one more word, then the answer is no. Damn it all. One hour, but that's it. Vegeta, I need your help. Just one more time. So oh, I swore I'd never merge bodies with you again. All right! Who are you? You two double up, so we did the same. You know, just to play fair. We're a merged fighter, the combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegeta! And here's something new. Vegeta Blue! You gotta wait for the animation. Get ready for this. You're still not a god! Okay. What do you say we wrap this up? Oh, I'm sorry, is this hurting you? You aren't a purely invincible god anymore. 
and you can never get the number of mortals down to zero now. You see, now that you've merged, you've taken in something that's always going to be a part of you for as long as you live. Goku's mortal and destructible body. You think that's a revelation? That Goku's body will always be part of me? Of course he will. Such was my desire. You that you've gained divine power. You're stronger than most deities now. Saiyans are the ultimate symbol of the failure of the Kais. By taking Goku. Sorry, did I cut you off? It hasn't been an hour yet. Oh, you transformed, that's why. Proficiency. Make me read one more time. Oh my god. Splitting apart, things are looking pretty dire for Goku and Vegeta. However, all is not lost, as Trunk soon comes to their rescue. It's not about gods and mortals! You don't believe in anything but yourself! And we won't let you win! I can feel it. Keep it coming, guys! Share your power with me! Gathering the key of all the surviving mortals and pouring it into his sword, Trunks uses his blade to fail Zamosu. Spirit sword. Ever just everything thinks Zamosu is gone once and for all, he enshrouds the earth in his incorporeal form. All of humanity is lost apart from our heroes. Is there really no way to stop the sc scourge of Zamasu? The situation is def desperate, but Goku has an idea. Supreme Kai, tell me. Do you think the Zeno of this timeline is still around? Yes, there's no question. Of course he would be. No one can defeat Grand Zeno. It's impossible. Here in his words, Goku pulls out the button given to him by Grand Zeno. That will summon him no matter where he is and presses it. With this, Grand Zeno appears in Trunks' world, and Goku proposes that Zeno erase Zamasu from existence. All of existence! Go away! However, Zeno is less than impressed by the depressing world he has been summoned to, and opts to destroy the entire planet. Instead, Goku and the others dash to the time machine and make a narrow escape. Trunks' friends have lost their home. They learn from Whis that they may be able to return to that, that same world before it was erased. With Whis' help, they steal away the Zamasu of that world. By bidding a farewell to Goku and the others, Trunk sets off on a, on a next venture in his new world. Episode unlock. Future Trunk Saga. Goku Super Outfit 5. Stuff. Stuff and things.